Hello students and viewers, welcome back again to Science Capsule, a perfect self-learning tool for school children. So in today's episode is all about learning some topic of class 9th and today's topic is going to be very very interesting since we are going to learn why do we see water droplets on the surface of a container containing ice cold water and this is not only for school children this is for the one who is interested in knowing about the science about the facts which are there in and around our surrounding so this is one of the fact which we are seeing in our everyday life so we may not be knowing the reason behind the appearance of water droplets on the surface of the container where the ice cold water is kept or from the refrigerator if you take cold drinks and after some time you see appearance of water droplets on the surface so this video is going to be very very interesting so watch till the end of this video before that if not subscribe this channel subscribe it and press bell icon so that you will be notified whenever i upload more such innovative and interesting videos so let us start today's session so dear students in order to understand the fact behind the appearance of water droplets around ice cold container you should know the science what is that science in it is there in the ninth syllabus so you don't think that it is the ninth class science and uh, this and that and already we have learned about the uh, arrangement of particles in case of solids liquid and gases now let me recall and if you are new to this channel also you will get it very clearly now let me give you some of the basic things to understand this suppose this is the arrangement of particles in case of liquid and let me show you the arrangement of particles in case of gas now we are talking about the appearance of water droplets around the container so here liquid we take it as it is a water got it children now gas here water in the form of gas we call it as vapor so we are very much linked to uh, water and the water vapor i can say that water vapor right now when we see the arrangement of particles this should be understood in order to understand why water droplets form around the container so let me see here so this is the arrangement of particles as we know that every matter is made up of particles so the tiny particles the arrangement of particles in case of liquid is this got it children now if we see the arrangement of particles in case of gas it is quite different here you will find that the particles are little far away so it is very much clear that the arrangement of particles are very different in case of water which exists in a liquid state and water vapor which exists in gaseous state and you should know that the gaseous state will have more kinetic energy so i am writing here ke ke means kinetic energy and here we have more kinetic energy and here in case we have less kinetic energy right so this thing you understood now let us assume that the energy possessed by the water let us just assume that it is a hundred joule right here the energy possessed by the vapor state let us assume that it is 200 joule right now it is just an assumption not exactly for understanding purpose i have given here taken here 100 joule is the energy possessed by the water and the 200 joule is the energy possessed by the water vapor now if you have if you understood this concept then this much is sufficient to understand the main factor now let us see if any matter if water has 100 joule of energy then it will exist in a liquid state got it children if the water has 200 joule of energy then it will not be in liquid state it will exist in gaseous state or water vapor h2o exists in liquid state at 200 joule h2o exists in water vapor that is gaseous state now what happens suppose this is the container we are talking about suppose this is the 
container right here ice cold water is there or ice cold we can say ice cold water or ice cold anything or any object which has very less temperature less temperature we can say that uh, the temperature is very very less and now around the container if you see all these are the containers we, we find h2o everywhere everywhere we find h2o right what is children everywhere around the container when we talk about atmosphere in the atmosphere we see water in the form of water vapor so all these are water vapor when we talk about water its kinetic energy we can link kinetic energy here 200 joule and here also every water in the form of water vapor what we see in the atmosphere we link it as 200 joule just for understanding purpose not exactly 200 this 200 joule got it children now what happens all these are in a gaseous state and here we have the container inside the container the temperature is very very less right now when the water vapor comes and contact with the contacts with the container then at that point what happens the energy is absorbed by the container when the energy is absorbed energy means 200 joule right so the energy is absorbed when the energy is absorbed the water vapor the energy of the water vapor has a 200 joule when the water vapor loses energy then the energy possessed by water vapor will be less than 200 joule a point will be reached when the more and more joule of energy is absorbed by the container only suppose if the energy of the water vapor reaches 100 joule then what will be the physical state of water at this point at this point the physical state of water will be liquid so in this way all the water molecule will lose energy right so suppose we see here all the water molecules will have 100 joule of energy rest of the energy is absorbed by the container why because here the temperature is very very low so energy will be transformed from a higher region to the low lower region so you should know that the energy the heat energy will be transformed from a region of a higher temperature to a region of a lower region so water vapor has more amount of heat energy or more amount of energy is possessed by the water which is in vapor state whereas here the container has less temperature when the particle contact with the material which has less temperature then energy will be transformed from the water having more energy to the container which is with less temperature right so this way the energy will be lost so when the water vapor loses energy then from 200 to 100 joule energy is reduced and we have learned that at 100 joule of energy the water will be in liquid state so slowly we can see the deposition of water droplets or formation of water droplets around the container continuously if we wipe off the water molecules what has formed over the surface of the container once again the water droplets formation of water droplets we see till what time the water the formation of water droplets we will see continuously till the temperature of the contents present in the container and the outside temperature gets balanced so this is the reason why we could see the formation of water droplets around the surface of the container which contains ice cold water or less temperature so this is how we can understand the formation of water droplets on the surface of the container similar kind of observation we see the windshield of a car becomes cloudy or water droplets we see from inner side of the windshield when we are driving a car in a rain what could be the reason 
then that you try to attempt try to find this if you find it difficult then you can mention it under the comment section so the uh, a separate video will be made available to you if you find it useful then hit the like button and share as much as possible this video to your dears and niers and one more thing if not subscribe this channel then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon so that you will be notified whenever i upload such innovative videos and interesting videos so see you all on another interesting video bye